With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. A very long wire. You can see A, B, C, D, E, F, D, G is shown in the figure and uh, it, it is carrying a current I. E, C and C, G are straight wire you can see here at right angle and D wire forms a circle of radius R. Then uh, it is tangential to the circular turn at B and D. Then you have to find out the magnetic field at the center of the circle. So if we talk about uh, the magnetic field at the center of the circle, so the uh, magnetic field because uh, will be because of three element. One because of this uh, circle, other because of this uh, semi infinite wire let's say this is one wire wire two and this is this three right so at the center if you see this distance will be r and this distance will also be equals to r and if i draw a dotted line like this then this angle will be 45 degree and this angle will also be equals to 45 degree and we know that because of a current carrying wire which makes an angle of which makes an angle of alpha and beta at a distance of r right current is i then the magnetic field at the point o will be equals to mu naught i by 4 pi r sin alpha plus sin beta right now if you see here this uh, sin alpha and sin beta if i talk about here the alpha is 45 degree beta is 90 degree and if i talk about the direction because of this one so if you keep your thumb with the direction of current and curl your finger you will get inward direction because of the first wire because of the second wire also you will get inward direction and if you curl your finger in the direction of the current in the circular wire also then also you will get inward 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 so because of all the three it is inward and inward and inward right so basically all the magnetic field will be added here. So because of these two it will be having equal magnitude 1 and 2 the magnitude will be the same. So I will write B1 and it is also equals to B2 mu naught I by pi it will be R distance is R sin 45 sin 90. Sin 91, sin 45 is 1 by root 2. This. Now, if you see, we got the magnetic field because of the 1 and 2. And we know that because of a circular current carrying wire, the magnetic field at the center is this. Right? Just add the 3. Right, just add the 3. So, I will write the net magnetic field since uh, they all are in inward direction like into the plane direction. So, if you uh, multiply this with 2, you will get mu naught i by 2 pi r. And you can uh, multiply and divide here 2. So, I will write it is b1 plus b2 plus b3. And b1 and b2 are equal, right. So, if you see, I will uh, take mu naught i by 2 pi r, it will be 1. So, I multiplied this with 2. So, it is b1 plus b2 mu naught i by 2 pi r into pi. Take this mu naught i by 2 pi r common here. Pi plus 1 by root 2 plus 1. So, this will be the net magnetic field and answer of this question. Now, you can check for the option. 
So C here is the correct option. Thank you. For class six to twelve, ITJ and NEET level, trusted by more than five crore students. Download Doubt and App today.